everybody, it's Carol from Crinkled Path Journals. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And I'm just on today for a quick video. I haven't done a thrifted treasures video in a long time. At least not that I can remember. <laughs> I have just been overwhelmed and grateful for just the amazing gifts that were poured out towards me over my contest and my retirement and my birthday in the last couple weeks. I have not been shopping as much because I'm in the beginning of a reset with my craft room. And so I didn't want to bring more in until I got things straightened up a little bit. I know for those of you who work full time outside of your home and keep a YouTube channel going, it's a lot of work and sometimes things back up and uh, usually that's the straightening up and reorganizing of your craft space. So good on you. I see you out there and I know you're doing all you can to take care of your everyday life and your channel. Stay creative. Don't give up. If you need a break, take a break. Get back on it when you can. That's how I was encouraged and I'm so excited to now have a little more time in my craft room since I retired and just have my granddaughter two to three days a week. I thought I would show you what I bought for my birthday on my birthday from the Maker's Market. And this is a journal made by Kelly Harrison from the Maker's Market. She's new to me. She does have a channel. She has recently posted an adorable compilation video of her puppy. And I have not been following her channel for long, but she has been listing things in the Maker's Market and she's had some really nice items. And I love getting handmade journals from creators when I can get my hands on them at the right time. So let's check it out. Well, it looks like she has sent lots of extras. She sent some fabric trim and some lace trim. Little blue and green floral. That's so cute. And she made a card. You ladies blow me away when you add so many extras. Oh, she said, thank you so much for your support again. This journal was out of my comfort zone, but I really like how it turned out. I'm just not good at the sewing machine. Oh, practice makes perfect, right? And I'm sure it's going to be great because I love that shabby look. So even if your stitching's a little wonky, I'm going to love it. Buttons, some special delivery stickers, a, I think that's a thread. Oh, that's a great idea to put it back it on something solid. It's the end of a spool label, uh, some tickets and a little tag and a sticker, a mason jar and another tag and, oh, some kind of order slip. I'm not sure, but hey, I'm right with you. Grab those things and use them up. Oh, and she's got some butterfly tags with, I love those. They're little snippets and little torn papers. Those are fun. That would have been fun to add into my journal, that BB one. Oh, and a precious little baby. <laughs> Oh my goodness, there has been no greater joy in the last nine months than getting to hold this baby and have her look at me and know that she knows who I am. <laughs> it's been such a precious gift. Oh, that's sweet. This would go great in my farm journal. And look at this precious bunny. Oh my goodness. Oh, an apple. I'm doing the Apple Hill journal in one of the journals that I bought from someone. We go every year. Amarillo, Texas. Oh, and it's written on. Oh, I love the written on ones. And then what is this? Oh, it's a it's a Scantron. Grade 91. I guess they passed. Got an A. Okay, here we go. She's got it wrapped up in this fabric so nice. 
Oh my goodness, look at the quilt. That is beautiful. It has been loved and worn and it wraps all the way around. And I, yeah, I love the wonky stitching. I think it, it just goes right along with it. You've got some, some scrapbook paper. It's very bright tag. This is much taller than I thought it was going to be. I, people list the measurements. I don't go check the measurements, <laughs> but I love it. It's got lots of room to journal, and that is what I'm all about. When I look for a journal to purchase, I'm looking for something that's not a huge gator mouth and that has lots of blank space, and so I'm pretty sure that's what I saw here. And then the other thing that is a big plus for me is authentic ephemera inside something that is the real deal you know not just a copy i don't mind you know book pages and scrapbook paper and all that uh i i just oh the raccoons uh there's there's a family uh thing with raccoons my i have a daughter who collects raccoons so that's always catches my eye too and we've got an old recipe card. I loved all the kind of nature theme in this. The cloud back paper and the book pages of the bears and the motor hotel. Oh. American agriculture. It's so fun. Some lovely papers, some stamps. Oh, is this a stationary piece? Oh, that's cute. And I'm certainly not opposed to digitals or, or anything like that, but I really, really love the real stuff. Oh, this is fun. That's scrapbooking paper, but I think Hazel has done some of that hand-dyed paper. Oh, what a cute puppy. I love the eclecticness of this and the, the different sized papers. Oh, some natural paper with some fibers. Butterfly. Yes, great. Lots of places to journal in here. This looks like wallpaper. Some journaling cards. This one looks like it's made out of an old postcard. A <laughs> happy squirrel. These pages are so cute. I'd love to know what that book was. And then Test Pilot. Wow, from the 80s, love it. Looks like a little Hebrew here. Uh, this is a collaged corner. We've got another one of her scrappy tags. Oh, I love these. The You know, it's, this one reminds me of the ones you did with the butterflies that were in the extras. That is so cute. Oh, and that great dot matrix paper. Love all the forest animals. Oh, nice. Bridge score pad. It looks like this was made from a sewing pattern. This is great, Kelly. Acorn puff. Afghan. That's fun, a pattern in there. Library card, more nature prints, another one of her little fabric and paper flips. Boy, I don't think about combining those things together very often. Oh, I just love those raccoons. Oh, and a postalette. I think I have some of these, that's cool. Those are hard to find. Oh, and some redwood or sequoia trees. Little children, always a big hit for me. Ah, just like love those raccoons. 
Oh, so precious. Simplicity pattern. I just love how you've incorporated such a variety of things. A rain check. I remember when my mom used to get those. And a St. Jude's notepad. So pretty. Oh, and I love the little calendar pages. Oh, there's another one of your butterfly clips. That's cute. Very well done. I'm enjoying this already. And I can see that I am going to have no trouble putting things in here. I think this might be a trip journal for me. I cannot get enough uh, travel journals because <laughs> we're going fairly often and I like to collect things along the way and then put them into a journal. A button card, that's great. And then looks like a eggplant seed pouch here. Cute. Os Oxford plastic tabs, boy. I like this layered pocket look. That's cute. Daily balance. The forest animals in the book are just too precious. Memories. I love it. Oh, and a girl from a pattern. Oh, this is a bingo card. Okay, it's a pocket. So it's fastened down at this corner and fastened at this corner. That's great. And then this current envelope on this side where you can tuck something in, some hidden journaling maybe. And she's got this sweet little fabric paper clip there. She had a little string in there. And this is what we call the backside of water when we flip through the backside of the book and see the other half of the pages. But look at, she still has got extras in here that just really add to changing up the book so that it's got interest still. Love the cross stitch pattern. There's those raccoons again. They're so, so cute. Oh, here's a vocabulary card and an item label from a department store. Uh, that's a cute deer. That looks like a sticker. Oh, a little mushy memo. Perfect. Oh, these are sweet. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. I'm, I'm very pleased with your work. And I'm so glad you're on the Maker's Market. And we will look for more pieces from you. Wherever you found this, you struck gold. <laughs> the quilt piece. It was well used. Perfect size for this journal. All right. Well, thank you all for joining me today. I appreciate your comments. And go over and check out Kelly's channel. I'll have it linked in the description box and we will hope to see more from you kelly in the future both on youtube and the maker's market take care everyone i'll talk to you in the next video bye